Right, so we're not catching at the minute. Let's do a review of my Savage Gear rod. So it's a Savage Gear MPP2, eight foot six, um, 2.59 centimeters, so two meters 59, and greater than or equal to 150 grams. Um, I like the extra length sometimes can be a hindrance if you're fishing really tight swims then no but i use this on reservoirs and i use this on canals on the canals it helps uh, keep the rod tip out from the weeds and reeds on the edges and cast around swims better on the reservoirs the extra length gives me a bigger casting arc uh, to gain distance so all good in my book it's light um, show you what I'm doing here it's lightweight it's strong if you could have been there there's plenty of power in that rod I would say you know this will cast 200 gram plus lures I've done it myself I've paired it up with a capstan today um, I don't know if it was genuine Fuji eyes but it's the same as they had on the MPP one which is a lovely rod you struggle to get hold of now I have one and I do use it uh, for tighter areas and frogging the real seat is a Fuji style bait casting real seat. Uh, it works, but I have heard reports of from the older models um, them splitting. But depends on that's a big reel and it's doing it fine on there. You have a little cork accent here on the handle. Um, or a lure keeper. Uh, the low profile eyes sit nicely, angled nicely. Gives your EVA foam. <laughs> and a cork accent on the handle and it feels a very well balanced outfit with uh, this on it's not heavy it's a very light rod it's a light combo actually they're both quite light together uh, anything i dislike about it don't particularly like the orange on it i prefer a different color but i mean that's nitpicking isn't it uh you know i use my gear beat it up but yeah I, I prefer something other than orange i prefer a blue even a red or a green would be nice it is a black blank i did actually like the green on the original mpps um as you can see their bait caster sits there quite nicely on it quite low profile there yeah i i think you know you pick these up for about 60 quid something like that you can't knock them for that price they are just cheap workhorses they're a bit better than that they uh, they really do let you fish well with them I've picked up rods dearer and they look nicer and maybe they feel just a little bit nicer and they'll have better fittings on them but they're not going to do any more than this rod will do I can use this for swim baits I can I've even put used uh, one of those uh, jig flies on it on a titanium ladder and managed to raise a pike and managed to cast it some sort of distance so they're very versatile rods uh, you can get them in a stepped up version but as i said unless you're using massive baits all the time i wouldn't bother it's a good all round model this one Hope you saw that on film. Oh, yeah, got him. I've got one. Oh, 
all of that was probably some line. Didn't look big, but it was pretty fish. He ain't bad, is he? I don't think that's even the one. Unless he went to a splash. There we go. Have a pike in the net. Let's get him out. They're getting bigger. Don't do that. Quick look. Yeah, just had a pull on the first dip. Got him. Got the fish on. Got the drag loose, isn't it? Too loose. Got a huge fish again. Pike. Would you believe it? Didn't like the jerk bait, that one. Let's try and. Yeah, we got one. Hopefully this one's gonna stay on. Not a huge fish, but a fish. Little Jack. Hope we got a fish as long as we can land it. I'm kicking everything in the water. And you're going beauty. 